Hi everyone, welcome to the best of cat series from IMS. Let us have a look at the next question from modern maths and I know we are very very close to the cat, best of luck for the cat. Let us have a look at the next question. They have told us A1, A2, A3 up till A52 be positive integers such that A1 is less than A2 is less than A3 is less than A4 up till A52. Suppose their arithmetic mean is 1 less then the arithmetic mean of A2 up till up A52. If A52 is 100, what is the largest possible value of A1? Let us again look at two approaches for this question. We are going to use one very purest method making equations and solving it and the other approach where we will actually look at solving it through a shortcut. So, what have they told us? When I take the series from A2 till A52, that means if I take A2 plus A3 up till A52, their average, so this will be 51 terms divided by 51 is 1 greater than the average of A1 plus A2 up till A52 which means divided by 52 the difference was 1, right and they told us A52 was 100, what is the largest possible value of A1? Let us have a look at this. So now if I take LCM, my LCM will be 51 into 52. If you look very carefully, you will get 52 times A2 over here, 52 times A3, 52 times every term. But here you will get 51 times all those same terms and there is a subtraction in between which means I will be left with A2 plus A3 up till A52 minus 51 times A1 because this term does not cut out will be equal to 52 into 51. Right? I want to find A1, so let us take that on the right side. So, I will be left with A2 plus A3 up till A52 minus 52 into 51 is equal to 51A1. Now, if I want to take the largest possible value of A1 or I want to find the largest possible value of A1, do you agree this will have to be as large as possible because this is already a fixed value? So, A2 to A52 will have to be as large as possible. Now, I already know A52 is 100. So, if I want to make all the other terms as large as possible, there will be, have to be a common difference of 1 and it will have to be arithmetic progression which means it will be 100, 99, 98, 97 and so on. Up till 50 being the smallest term, we want 52 terms which means this first term will be 50 and the last term will be 100 minus 52 into 51 is equal to 51 A1. So, this is what we have got. Now, solving this also is pretty simple if you uh, solve it smartly. These are consecutive terms, so it is an arithmetic progression. What is the formula to solve our AP? First term plus last term into n upon 2. So, 50 plus 100, first term plus last term is 150 and there are 51 terms. So, into 51 upon 2 minus 52 into 51 is equal to 51 A1. What do you notice? There is a 51 everywhere. So, 51 cuts out. 150 divided by 2 is 75. Minus 51 is cut out. So, minus 52 is equal to A1 and A1 is 23 which is the second option. One method to do this question, again not one of my favorite way to do this question. What should have been a better approach? Let us have a look at it. In the other approach, I have to realize one thing beforehand which in the previous question or in the previous method, we realized it at some stage in between that if I want to maximize A1, I should maximize everything else also like A52 is 100. So, A51 will be 99, 98, 97 that I have to realize. The mistake a lot of students could make with this was they could mark 48 as the answer or 49 if there was an option. Luckily, there was no 49. Now, let us see what would be the right approach to do it then. Now, they have told us the average of this is greater than the average of all the terms by 1. So, let us first find the average of these terms. These are 51 terms starting with 50 ending at 100. So, the average will be directly nothing but 50 plus 100 into n upon 2 which is 51 upon 2 which will come to 75 sorry upon 51 also because I want to find the average. So, 51, 51 cut out. So, average is 75. Now, the average of all the terms is 75 from 52, sorry, from the second term till the 52nd term, the average is 75, which means the average of A1 plus 50 plus 51 up till 100 
will be 74 average remember not total the average will be 74 right which means this divided by 52 will be 74 so what is the sum i want to find a1 right so what is the sum the sum of 52 terms will be 74 into 52 and the sum of the 51 terms excluding the first term will be 75 into 51 subtract these two to get a1 this is one even within the second method there are two approaches so a1 will come out to be what 74 into 52 minus 75 into 51 when i was doing this calculation i thought let me just look at the options this term ends in 8 this term ends in 5 and there is only one option ending in 3 which is my answer second option so a good way to do this question but we could have done it slightly more smartly pay attention i am just going to look at a few things over here very carefully 75 was the average of 51 numbers go back and think of average is the way you've done average questions 75 is the average of 51 numbers so go back and think of that students example which we always use give you in averages if there are 51 students each having 75 chocolates to keep the average same the new student who's added should carry 75 chocolates so if the new student carries 75 chocolates the average will remain same but over here in this case the average is reducing by one which means it's as good as it is taking away one one chocolate from everybody so minus 52 chocolates and hence the new student has come with only 23 chocolates that is the answer again if you understand averages this is a very good way to do it 50 to 100 averages 75 that is also a very easy calculation the middle term will be the average 75 is the average once you know 75 is the average the other average was 74 so 75 minus 52 becomes the answer the question can also be done literally orally well with that we come to the end of this question please solve the replica and as i said earlier best of luck for cat